to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Here we go, here we go. 11, 11, 11. Stop. We're all going to give this to mix it. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. On second down, here's Burrow. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy. It's not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Hurts throw there taken in by Smith. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 35. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Here's Hurts to throw. This is caught. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield and made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Burrow once again here on second and ten. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Burrow throw. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still could prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here fourth goes. down, but Burrow stays put. They're going for it. Can, can. Can, can. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. They will throw on first down with Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. Oh, he sheds himself free. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. That turns into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roll and picked up big yardage. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Burrow. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And the Eagles are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. On first down, Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Throwing his hurts. Dancing to his left. Thrown across the field, and that will easily be intercepted. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. On one, ready? 11 MP, 11 MP. 11 MP, take. 11 MP. Mixon with a first down carry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's a game of five. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. He gets this one to Boyd. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here we go.
Now it's Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Darius Slay with a pick. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. The mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tagged as one of the best in the league the prior season. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Gun, gun. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Gun. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This is caught. It's Boyd. Cincinnati score. Tyler Boyd, 59 yards. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Second down, here's Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. And the offense moving quickly to the line. The game of seven brings up second and three at the 37 yard line. Hurts. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 36 yards on the play. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays? Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. 
And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And he'll get it. He's over for the touchdown. Jalen Hurts scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. And these Eagles may have been the first to really perfect this play. Let Hurts take the snap, then get some help pushing from behind. This was so successful, some folks, including me, were calling for this play to be outlawed. But while it's still in the books, no one runs it better than Hurts, and he takes this one in. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Well, partner, and, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. And incomplete on the deep ball. They saw the guy have an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Oh my. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here we go, here we go. Give us a shot. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first right, right, half, right, right. and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, and instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, while we look at the defense, they came in prepared, had excellent game plan, well scouted, and they're taking it away at almost every turn. He's going to look deep for Watkins. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. Hurt sets up to throw it. Going deep here for Watkins. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they... And now here is another interception. Keely Ringo picks it off. And a potential turning point as they get the football in very good field position late in this first half. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. 
That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger gain? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what do you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal a possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. They'll look to throw here on first down. Out route pass complete to Gatti. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Trippin' this is easy, easy Got 